Good morning everyone to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Been a very productive weekend. We're not recording everything, but uh, we are getting ready to do some celery. And Sherry is getting a bunch of carrots ready to uh, put in the freeze dryer. And we have been working on the greenhouse. So later in this video, I'll show you how far along we've come. And in a few minutes after I get the rest of the celery loaded, um, I'll show you what's going on in the uh, sunroom with the uh, hydroponics. Alright guys, time to check on the hydroponics. Uh, down here, we actually have, kind of hard to see, but I do have lettuce starting to come up. And uh, they've, they've only been in there for a couple of days. Then, if you look really close, this is all radishes. And uh, they're doing really well. So, uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to start adding nutrients. And then here is uh, the broccoli and uh, I think it's still a little early yet to see all that so uh, every day I uh, make sure and water these and uh, kind of keep an eye on them these don't need light yet until they uh, uh, germinate and uh, yeah coming along pretty good so uh, if you're wondering for those who are new to the channel I'm just using coconut core perlite and uh, they call this stuff vermiculite and uh, vermiculite tends to uh, soak up water better than perlite um, but that's all this is coconut core and uh, volcanic rock and uh, no soil at all and uh, eventually uh, I'll start showing you what kind of nutrients we're using and I'll just be pouring it in there and I'm going to try to do what I can just from these uh, containers. And uh, by the way, the other containers I got here, I couldn't get any more of these. And uh, so I'm going with the clear. Don't necessarily recommend the clear, but we'll do the best we can. So that's what's going on in, for now <laughs> in the hydroponics. But it's going to be much bigger uh, as time goes on. This is just kind of messing around. So... All right, let's move on. We got all kinds of chores to do, and we got to show you the greenhouse. Okay, guys. Well, we got our uh, veggies all cut up and put in the dryer, and uh, in this bag here is a bunch of old hamburger buns that uh, we used to run a cycle to get the onion smell out of our <laughs> freeze dryer. And of course, we got lots of uh, scraps from cutting up all those veggies. So some of this is going in the compost, and then some of it I'm going to give to the chickens as a treat. Uh, they're going to get the bread. So uh, yesterday we worked on the greenhouse, and we got the first layer of plastic on across the top. And it's not trimmed or anything, but I'm going to let you see it. And there she is. And sorry about the wind. So it's all attached with a wiggle wire. So today we're going to work on putting the front, well probably the back first, on. But it's actually starting to look like a greenhouse. So the bottom halves are not um, attached yet. And uh, everything else is attached. All the wiggle wires attached, it's just nothing's trimmed. So this is the early stages, and uh, there's the girls, and we're going to collect their eggs. So Sherry's in here right now. How's it looking? Oh, quite a few. Oh, there's three there, two three there. there. One, two, three, four, five there. Five there. Wow. Lots of eggs today. All right, it looks like we got uh, <coughs> ten eggs today, and I'm getting ready to put some more of this stuff into the compost bin, but... Some of it I think I might give it to the chickens too. So I grabbed the chickens a couple of pieces of celery. 
some carrots and uh, the stock from the celery. It'd give them something different. So they all get some dried bread. Probably tastes like onions a little bit. But yeah, lots of stuff to keep them busy. Sure, he's giving them some food. Ouch. And uh, uh, almost looks like a greenhouse over there. Getting there. One other thing that's been going on is, uh, of course, I told you I finally got the new 50 amp plug put in which I'm very happy about which powers up my fifth wheel so I thought I'd get into the fifth wheel and I knew it was just a matter of time we start having trouble with the mice again so uh, the one thing that's been nice about the f it's actually warm in here Sorry about the light. Let me turn this way. Uh, one of the reasons we came in here is you heard that beep. And let me turn on some lights in here. Yeah. Remember how to do all this. There you go. So uh, I've got a carbon monoxide uh, <coughs> alarm that's been going off. And it's we can't shut it off. And it says when it does that, uh, that has to be replaced. So uh, the other thing I did was put a little mouse bucket trap in here. And I got to put some fresh peanut butter on it. And uh, see if I can't catch the mice. Not a lot of mice, but a couple of mice. But you can see I got a heater in the back. It's kind of dark. Uh, and it's actually pretty comfortable in here. So let me put some... Uh, more peanut butter on the bar here and get this closed up. I'm gonna, I did pull the slides out and uh, uh, make sure it's you know dried out and good in here. But yeah, it's doing really good except we did get a couple mice in here. Yeah. All right, we well, got that taken care of. Next thing we got to do is uh, we decided we're going to use the rest of our wiggle wire. So we've got to take all those rods, drill holes in them so we can screw them into the wood. And uh, that takes a little time, so we can get started on that. So these are the rails we use for the wiggle wire. So since we decided we're going to go ahead and we had a lot left over, uh, we got to drill holes in them so we can put screws to them. So that's exactly what Sherry's working on right now. So you can see, we, got, we put holes in them about every foot and a half. And. Uh, it's kind of a tedious process, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. Well, it's a little later in the day, guys, and we're getting ready to put another piece uh, at the end here on the greenhouse. It's windy, sorry. So we uh, installed wiggle wire in all sections. This is where a window is going to be. And uh, so we've cut away enough plastic to attach the new piece on. Sure, he's got that. It's like a 10 by 15 that we're putting on and uh, we're not going to run the camera while we're doing this because it's just one it's windy out and uh, two we got to focus on, this, on the plastic. So you ready? We're going to do her. All right guys that was a bear. Our plastic was delivered to us not cut too square so we barely were able to get plastic on it still reach across but we got it we still got to trim it out a little bit but uh she's on there so we got the back and uh see what the inside looks like so it's starting to look like a greenhouse in here i think mom starting that wiggle wire is a workout so uh we also found out we're having a little trouble with our door. Don't know why, but it sunk. Uh, see the gap we have up here? We're not sure what caused that. And uh, so we'll have to fiddle around with it to figure out how, why it did that. But one step at a time. So there you go, guys. It's starting to look like a greenhouse. Well, guys, that kind of wraps up our day. We did find out what was causing that door to be off a little bit 
during the last windstorm we had a little bit of leaning on the whole structure so we put some stiffeners in um, and uh, got us and it did shore up our door so uh, it was actually a good thing we saw that guys thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it and uh, don't forget to pick up some ranger on poopy bags so be safe until next time. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.